Doctors Without Borders is piloting the use of artificial intelligence to help treat patients with snake bites in one of the remotest places in South Sudan. It says that even in its infancy, AI is already helping save lives. CGTN's Patrick Oyet reports from the country's Warab state. This is Mayena Boon village, 595 kilometers north of South Sudan's capital, Juba. Medical personnel say the area hospital receives people beaten by snakes almost on a daily basis. Just near the hospital, we meet a pook jail back. She has a leg impairment because years ago she was beaten by a snake and didn't receive proper treatment. I was crossing a small water logged area. I felt something entangling around my leg. I ran out of the water and there was a snake on my leg. It bit me as I shouted for help. It was next to the house. My family rushed and killed the snake, but I was just given some traditional medicine and my leg remained with impairment. Her case and many other conditions resulting from snake bites in this area led MSF to pilot its program. The project involves taking pictures of snakes and then feeding them into a system. Uh, to enable them bring the antivenom specifically for the snake bite, for the snake species that are living here, the ones that are biting people, the people that are coming to MSF uh, health facility. A few kilometers from Apuk Jail's home, Nyayang Deng has just been discharged from the hospital. She spent three days there getting treatment due to complications from a snake bite. I'm going to put that bummer. I am worried. If I don't get well soon, how will I take care of the family? How will I dig and harvest crops? How will I take care of my husband? I will become a useless housewife. Medical personnel here say she will make a full recovery. Health workers say it was easy to give her treatment because a lot of snake species from this area are already in their system, as are their antivenom. Artificial intelligence is no longer a far-fetched concept in this village. It is already being used to treat patients getting snake bites here. MSF says the project is in its early stages, but adds that once it is proven successful, it will be rolled out in all its health facilities across the country. This initiative, doing the awareness, trying to find the antivenom, would improve a lot in terms of uh, snake bite cases management in the hospital. Apuk Jail laments that she may have made a full recovery if AI had arrived earlier, but for those receiving the treatment now, it has been a long time in coming. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Mayana Boon, Warap State, South Sudan.